I'm working away inside the blended smile.psd file found inside the 22 warp folder. And I've managed to create these kind of luminous spheres here that I drew using the ellipse tool. So this is a vector based shape layer. And then I applied the green coloring using the color overlay effect. And I got this wonderful little highlight here by raising the altitude value inside bevel and emboss. In this final exercise of the project, I'm going to show you how to create a pupil effect using an inner glow of all things. And most people don't know that this feature exists, but it's actually really, really useful. So switch to inner glow because it's the only one that offers this option. And you'll get the kind of glow you would expect, a little sort of yellow glow around the outside of the eyes, which doesn't look anything like a pupil. And so let's go ahead and switch out that color. Pupils are notoriously black. So click on the color swatch to bring up the color picker dialog box and drag down and to the left inside of the big field here to reduce the saturation value to 0% and the brightness value to 0% as well. That gets you black regardless of what the hue value is set to. Click OK. Now we just entirely lost the effect because the blend mode is set to screen by default. And screen always lightens, and the one non-lightening agent out there is black. And so screen sets black to transparent. We need to swap the foremost lightning mode, screen, for the foremost darkening mode, multiply. And then we'll bring back our black edges at least. Now that's still not the effect we're looking for. So let's go ahead and raise the size value a little bit here. I'm going to take it up to 30, just so we can see what we're doing. And now we have these black irises with kind of green pupils. The pupils need to be sharper. So let's take the choke value up here. I'll click inside the choke option box and I'll press shift up arrows several times in a row until I get a choke value of 60%. And now we're getting this kind of Hal effect. Remember Hal from 2001 Space Odyssey? He didn't have a green glow, he had a red glow, but otherwise it's a similar effect. That would suggest an evil robot to me. So I'm suggesting we swap out the black irises and the green pupils for green irises and black pupils. And we do that using this option. It only appears with inner glow. Right now the source is set to edge. So we're creating the glow from the outside edge inward. If we want to create it from the center outward, then you click on center and you end up getting this effect here. Now he appears too beady eyed. So it would seem that we take the size value up in order to increase the size of the pupils. But if you raise the size value, you actually get rid of your pupils. You need to take that value down. And so I'm going to press shift down arrow a couple of times in order to reduce that size value to 20 pixels, which ends up looking right for this image here. You may need to play around for your effect, depending on how big you drew your spheres in the first place. Those circles, that is, using the ellipse tool, you may need to adjust your choke and size values to taste. But once you get something that looks reasonably like a pupil, as I have here, then you're done. You don't have to change the opacity value if you want to. 75% works just fine. Click OK in order to accept that modification. And we now have a smiling, happy robot with these gorgeous luminous eyes and these dark black pupils. And the result is some pretty intriguing additions, I think, here. And while they aren't true 3D effects, they integrate well with this 3D rendering in the background. And it's all a combination of free transform, the warp function, and some highly targeted applications of layer effects here in Photoshop.